were talking about how to start. What did you think of this start and the impact it had on the game as, as a whole? Yeah, it was nine day from Brooklyn, obviously. Uh, you know, 40, 42 points. You know, I don't like the giving up 31, especially on some of the mis mistakes we made, but I uh, carried it over to second quarter, 36 there, and had a big first half. So um, we struggled to score against Brooklyn, only 15 there. It was a much more concerted effort to attack, get on transition, pass the ball, and so um, pleased with that. Do you think that Jalen's rebounding is starting to impact his offense where he's not going as long without touching the ball? Yeah, and, and also rebounding and pushing. You know, we encourage him to get off the glass, use his athleticism, get out and play with pace. And so um, our team in general, especially the starters, is not the fastest paced group. Fred pushes it, but doesn't go anywhere half the time. And so um, Alpi is very slow there as well. Um, so we don't have a naturally fast first unit. So Jalen can kind of ignite that with the first group. And obviously when the second group comes in, it's, it's different. So he's enjoyed some success with those guys there. But yeah, he get out and get on the glass. We want him to crack back and help anyway. And then it kind of ignites his transition, which it did tonight. Is it as simple as that? That's three games in a row. He's had double-digit rebounds. After not having done it at any point previously in his career. Yeah, I mean, that's a big part. And, you know, we've talked to him about it and showed him a lot of film of him standing, kind of watching, uh, you know, watching guys fighting one-on-one -on -one down there, go clean it up. And so with that, he, like I said, he'll get offensive putbacks. He can get in there and impact it that way. But also, like I mentioned, defensively. So it's an effort-focused thing um, that he's really bought into lately, and you see it with the numbers.